Last week, Baby Audio released the iHeart and Why. And I couldn't review it immediately because I wasn't in the studio. Let's not waste any more time and let's get started. All right, it's IHNY version 2 Punchy Parallel Compressor. So it's the iHeart and Y plugin. And uh, as we can see, they've improved a lot on the user interface. Uh, it slaps so good. We set out to make the hardest hitting compressor in the industry, the kind that makes your tracks slam and sing to achieve that extra edge iHeart NY2 works in parallel. This allows you to compress more while retaining the dynamics of your dry track. Uh, features. That's way too much text. Oh, it has auto gain. Oh, I'm really getting confused by these, by, by, the, by the amount of text. Like I'm, I'm not that intelligent that I can read a lot. I mean, come on. I, f I think it's just better to just, you know, take a look at it and, and try it out. So uh, this is the plugin. We got an XY pad, which works pretty interesting. So we've got dry and wet and amount. This is more logical as user interface than, than a physical knob or something, because I mean, I can move up, down, left, right with my mouse. So this is kind of logical. We've got the oversampling over here. Uh, oh, that's the bypass, of course. And the tweak button. This is how you do it. Look, it's so easy. This is how you make an interface. That is something that Baby Audio has grown in a lot since my first review is their, their UI user interface. Crystalline is the exact example on how to do it. Like, like if you want to use physical knob kind of things. Um, but then again, same thing here. Nice job. Nice job. Another nice job, and this is actually something that Casper from Baby Audio pointed out to me, is the way that they are handling the auto gain in this plugin. Because here's the thing, they wanted to include auto gain, but they couldn't make a fully 100% accurate one-on-one -on -one auto gain algorithm without latency. And latency still also has a high value. Like if you have a plugin with like five seconds of latency or something, it gets pretty annoying to use. Actually, with like, 20 milliseconds, it already starts to become a problem or something. Like, like if a plugin can work in real time, it's it's always the best. So they wanted to keep it real time, but because of that, the auto gain is not 100% accurate. And that is the reason why there is an auto gain slider. You can make the auto gain more aggressive or less aggressive if you want to. Now, my stance on this, and this is something that is often misunderstood, is that it's not a bad thing if your auto gain is not 100% accurate or whatever. It will probably still be more accurate than me adjusting two knobs at the same time on analog gear. The point is that there are a lot of plugins out there that are pretty much unusable because you have to gain up on one side and gain down on the other side and like gain by like 20 dBs or something. So some compensation is needed. I do understand that having an accurate gain compensation like a one-on-one -on -one gain compensation or better said loudness compensation you know gets more difficult and it's not really that i'm asking for that necessarily it's just that when there is some form of auto gain it just gets way easier to work with a plugin that's my exact point and the best is to have like a little like a test over here as well a little gain slider as well if i really want to do a bypass comparison and i hear there's a one db or half a db difference or i think that i'm being tricked i can still you know do that last bit of compensation myself that's it it's it's not a big deal i mean the biggest problem is when i have to click and drag basically two buttons at the same time that, that that's my my big issue now, of course, Casper reached out to me uh, explaining the auto gain, also asking if I wanted to review the plugin, but put the explanation in there as well, which I fully understand. He has also given me a license uh, so that I could check out the plugin. Apart from that, there's no other contact. He's not seeing the video beforehand and he doesn't have any say in what I can include in the video or not. I could also leave out the auto gain part, but I thought it would be an interesting story. If you appreciate the way that I'm handling this by staying fully independent, and make sure to support me. You can do that by, for instance, using my affiliate links or becoming a channel member. And now we're going to run some audio through it. And because I saw some comments that I should do more metal type of things, I decided to do a metal version of Sandstorm. Or well, in this case, just the drums, because I think this works really well on drums. Um, is it already doing something? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. More aggressive auto gain means more gaining back. Uh, maybe this side. Oh, slider works the other way around. Oops. Now nah, it's a very specific compressor setting. It's not it's something you have to know. And I don't know it. Wow, look at the amount of game reduction I'm doing. Yeah, this, this is just, this is the thing, this is the thing. All right, let's see if we can tweak this a little bit. Let's do it, uh, put it over here. Yeah. How did it come up with these interface ideas? Exactly what I mean with like like plugin getting like louder and stuff. I don't know if it's actually compensating also for what I'm doing over here. I, I don't I don't know. All right, so punch. <laughs> it's really cool how you can shape it. Harmonics. I want more of that. Okay. Oh, so this is um, a sidechain side filter. Cool. Not really sidechain filter, but just excluding the the plugin from that part. Really cool. Okay, let's compare. Cool. Can we can make it more aggressive. Come on. I really like that, I, I sometimes really like that compression with like, like, just crushing it all the way, like. Nice. I still have to do a lot of manual gain compensation, actually. Not bad, not bad. So. What is this plugin? Well, it's it's a tool. It's it's an easy and handy to use tool for a certain sound. It's a very specific tool. Like it's the New York style compression or uh, how you want to call it. I I don't really know. And you know, normally these type of tools, they are there to improve your workflow because they're easier to use, but on the same time, they're messing up your workflow because of auto gain or whatever. But Baby Audio really understands how to do this now. Like. Auto gain, uh, tweaking, simple tweaks and stuff. Doing it this way, I really think it can benefit your workflow if you are looking for this specific sound and wanna have that and blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. I would almost classify this also as an effect. So not just a make it sound better thing or make it sound a certain way thing, but also as an effect because you can really destroy sounds with it as well in a, in a creative, positive, cool way. The only thing that I would would like to see is more auto gain. So it, I, I had it at 0% because it works the, the other way around, weirdly enough. If, if I turn the auto gain all the way to 100%, it's, it's like uh, overloading. And if I turn it to zero, it seems to do more gaining back. I would love to go to minus 50 on it or whatever, because it's still sometimes, you know, clips a little bit. So yeah, that's it. It sells for uh, $69. 
nice. Right now, or at the moment that I'm filming this video, you can actually buy it for $39. So check it out. I'll link to it in the description down below. There's a free trial available. And after you've tested it, come back to this video and tell me what you think. So yeah, that's all that I have to say about the IHNY plugin from Baby Audio. If you like my channel and want to support me, consider becoming a channel member. You can do this on YouTube by using the join button down below or on Patreon uh, over here. And if you become a member, you get access to some exclusive content and early access to the content that will be on YouTube. I'll link some playlists and stuff over here. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing and bye bye.